Um, I never had such a comfortable uh, observing experience sitting indoors on a soft surface with a table in front of me, a telescope which is not fighting me, it's, it's to my command. And using different eyepieces, I have here 82 degrees, 7.2 Spear Valor, Nagler 7mm, Bud Orthoscopic 10mm, Celestron 32. Um, uh, this is it. Eyepiece came with the, one of the telescopes with actually fam Voyager family bush no, no, the Celestron uh, equal to the heritage and that is the TMB optical this is the Alter Astro 21mm and this is my beautiful lovely Nirvana uh, all of them are good eyepieces. I'm just changing from one to the next, and I'm having a really good time looking at these uh, objects. I saw the flame nebula not like never before, and this was through this window. <laughs> I, cannot, I cannot believe it. I'm looking through the window for oh, this dirty window, and I can see the flame nebula, and I can see hints of the. This is a four and a half inch telescope. You can see the nebulosity that defines the outline of the horsehead nebula. I think at the very rare moments of the good thing, I can see actually the horsehead also. So I know where it is, and I can I can just look at there. But you you have to use a averted vision and such things. This is a lovely telescope. So easy to use. Clone of the Astroscan. We miss such a thing in the market. Believe me, there is a missing a niche. Anybody who makes such a thing will be a winner. People cannot go all the time outside. They just want to be in indoors and observe. And be able to just point a telescope at anywhere they like. Yeah, the cutting in the sea of the north of the Imbrium, where the Jura Mountains is, uh, what is called actually 
the part near the Caucasian mountains is the uh, Alpine Valley. Amazing. Yeah, it's in lower part so when you see the parallel dotted line as if parallel to that mountain inward to the, uh, the sea of rains is where the Apollo 15 landed in the mountains. Try to zoom on down. 